Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my finale for the Roulette Pan Collab. So this is the huge Project Pan Collab that was started by Alexandra Schiosten and Rebecca Morgan. So I will have both of them down below as well as the playlist where you can see everyone else's videos. I really do love this project, but I will say that this round wasn't really that successful for me personally. And I think there's a couple of reasons to that. First of all, I got really kind of like, I don't say challenging categories, but I got categories that really don't excite me. For example, in this one round, I got a product you don't like, a product you regret buying a product you wouldn't repurchase so you know it's fine to be working on one of those products or one of those categories in a project but i was working on all three but also i will say that december was crazy for me so i think i was doing pretty good in this project until november's update and after that I really haven't done that great. December was crazy at work and then we had the move and everything. So I didn't even film December's update. I did finish a couple of products, however, after November's update. That is the last update I filmed. So I finished two products. I don't have them anymore because I finished them in my old apartment and I don't want to move trash with me. But, you know, that's a good thing. I did finish some products. Let's start with the two products that I finished up. I finished the Love Beauty and Planet Hope and Repair 2-Minute Hair Mask. And that was for the category... Let me check it out. That was for the category A Product You Regret Buying. Now, I did love that hair mask, but I regret buying it because the cruelty-free status of Love, Beauty and Planet is really unclear. Then I also finished a product that smells nice. So for that I had the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. When it was new it smelled kind of like cinnamon, but as it got older the smell really went away. Okay, then there's one product I decided to declutter and I don't have it anymore. I gave it to my sister, so it was the Oprah Beverly Hills highlighter and it was for the category product you haven't used much. Now the reason I didn't use that highlighter much is because of the shape of it or because of the design of the pan. So it was a wheel with, I believe, five different colors in it. And I used this really, really choppy brush from EcoTools to apply my highlighter. I just think this applies my highlighter like nothing else. I can just like dip this to the highlighter and swipe it. And it will give the most beautiful kind of like flattering highlight. I, I don't know why, but I find those smaller brushes a little bit more difficult to use. For some reason I cannot get like the line straight. So I love this. But unfortunately, this doesn't work with the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter because the individual colors there are so small. Then if you try to mix all of them highlighters together, it's going to be really similar color than the Ofra Blitzful that I have, that I love, but I just didn't really need the Beverly Hills. So I decided to declutter it and pass it along. Okay, the next products I do still have left and this next one I should have been able to finish and I'm actually a little bit disappointed at myself that I couldn't finish this. I know I would have been able to finish this if I didn't open my Milani Prep Set Glow Illuminating Setting Powder until this one was gone. So I'm talking about the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and this one is for the category A Product in Loose Form. Honestly, if I didn't open the Milani powder, I think I would have finished this one before our move. There's not really much left. I haven't marked it now, but there's just like a little bit in the bottom. Like, one thing I will say is that I have been using this to set my under eye and I do not like this to that. That is what I have been using this for every day. But for some reason, this is one of those powders that when you get it to your under eye, it kind of like makes your concealer darker and I don't get why powders do that and I don't like it in this one either. 
overall I think this is just a really basic powder, no worth the money, I think you can get just as good quality or even better from the drugstore. I think I'm going to stay away from high-end powders because most of the times those disappoint me. Then there is this one product that I don't like at all, this is actually for a category, a product you don't like and this has been in this project since the intro and it is the REF Stockholm Sweden Rough Wax. So this is something I bought to give a little bit volume to my hair and it does that. But what I don't like about this product is that it leaves my fingers really sticky and I have used way better products than this one to give volume to my hair and to my roots. And I just, I don't like this. This is messy, this is too much effort. Um, yeah, now that this project is over, I'm going to give this one to my husband and get myself something that I actually do like. And also, I don't like the scent of this because this has quite strong unisex scent and I'm not really into unisex scents. This one is something I have been waiting. So in the intro in September, it weighed 79 grams, 10. In the first update it weighed 78 grams, then I tried to focus on it a little bit more, so it weighed 75 grams in the second update and now it weighed 73 grams, but it has been two months since the last update, so I don't think I did that great during the last couple of months, because it only went down a cram in a month. I'm so done with this product, honestly, I don't like it. And I'm going to give it to my husband. Then uh, the last product, I think this one was for the category a product you wouldn't repurchase, really but I have not even written it down. I picked this one in the second update, but I picked this Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I will say I have started to like this a little bit more, but I still do think that it's nothing that special and it's not worth the high price tag. At Beauty Bay you can get this on lower cost, it's only 18 euros there and I totally think it's worth 18 euros, but then there are some places that charge 30 euros from this and I don't think this is worth 30 euros. What I have found that works best with this one is that you spray it really close to your face because then I do have many setting sprays that I want to spray from a little bit further back. I'm kind of enjoying it now that we are in the coldest time of year even though it has been really weird winter here in Finland. We don't have snow at all and I hate it. I would much rather take snow than this darkness and this grey weather, I absolutely hate what is going on, but what can you do? I hope we don't get winter like in March when it's supposed to be spring starting already, so we'll see if we get winter this year or not. But anyways, my skin is just like a little bit drier right now, so I have been liking this more, but I do still think it's kind of like overhyped. But I will say this one I like way more than the illuminating setting spray from Cover FX. That one I hate it because it actually contains like shimmer or glitter particles. Anyways, that was everything for today. Let me know if you did this project and how did you do? How many products did you finish? I actually, I finished the two products I mentioned. Then I finished one product in the first update. What was the product I finished then? It was a sample slash deluxe size item and it was a foundation sample from a finish brand Corento. And then I also, in the second update, met a goal with a lip gloss. I wanted the weight go down and it went. So, you know, overall I think I did pretty good in this project until November's update and after that it wasn't that good. So maybe I'm just being like a little bit too hard on myself. And overall, it has been fun to be part of this project again. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye bye.